Today, we are going to do EROB unboxing. The product label is on the side of the box. The first line of the label is EROB model, that is EROB 70H100 IPM 18N. EROB represents zero air actuator series, 70 represents outer diameter, H represents high rigidity, 100 represents reduction ratio, I represents straight type, D represents break, M represents multi turn memory, 18 represents inner diameter, E represents ether cat, N represents no torque sensor. Now, let us do the unboxing. Here is an information booklet, a packing list and a delivery inspection report. The main body e rob was packed in a vacuum bag. Tear apart the vacuum bag and take out e rob with glove. Then, take out other product accessories. So there are an e rob a multi-turn end kit, a 3.6V multi-turn battery, and a certificate. Now, let us connect the debugger. Connect the matching 3-pin cable, according to the pin definition. That is, the red wire connects to H, the yellow wire connects to G, the black wire connects to L. Then, connect the wired terminals to the debugger. Finally, open up one of the terminal resistance connection switch. The debugger connection is completed. Now, let us do e-runner connection preparations. E-runner, that is PC, developed by Zero Air, should be installed at the beginning. PLS refer to e-runner introduction for more info. In the first place, connect the 3-pin CAN to the CAN interface of the actuator. Then, connect the debugger USB interface with computer. Next, connect the matched and wired power supply terminal with the power supply terminal of activator. At last, turn on the power switch and the status light is on. So far, the preparations are finished. Now, let us connect eRunner. Pre-install driver according to eRunner instructions. Open eRunner software. Click scanning in connection settings interface. Then, copy and paste the presented ID to list. Click add list. Choose the ID and click connect. The related configuration information of actuator occurs. Click motion. The showing factory speed is 5566. Modify the speed slightly for better showing of motion track. Then, click apply and then click forward. The actuator runs normally under no load. Finally, click stop and then click motor stop. The actuator stopped running. It ends here. Thanks for subscribe.